Greetings, everyone, and welcome to First Ian Impressions with Insane Ian. And we are doing Battle Chasers Night War. This game opens with an unskippable cutscene. Like, I haven't even gotten to a menu yet. And there's all this stuff. So, that's what this is. I literally can't skip any of this. But uh, for those who don't know, Battle Chasers is a comic book series <laughs> that was uh, all of nine issues in the 90s, uh, and, uh, and an issue zero, so technically ten issues, and uh, was made by, I believe his name is Joe Madeira. The same guy who did the art for the Darkstalkers games. Uh, Darkstalkers came after this. Uh, he has got a very distinctive art style. And uh, all of these characters exist in the comic books. It's kind of weird that they're uh, doing a, a, a video game of a comic that is, at this point, probably 20 years old. So I hope you were all able to hear me during that section, because I have not been able to turn the, uh, the music down yet, <laughs> so that you can hear the microphone. Start game is all my only option. I have no option to turn things down. Yes, I'm uh, English options. There we go. Let's go to options, audio, turn down master volume. Especially turning down the music volume. I mean, it's nice music, but what? Uh, language. Tutorials, vibration, subtitles. Everything's on! Hooray! Alright, let's go do a new game. So yeah, so Battle Chaser is based on a comic by Joe Majira. And this uh, is a role-playing game, turn-based, from what I hear. So we're checking this out here on First Ian Impressions with Insane Ian. Years That's me. have passed since the great warrior and leader of men, Aramis, vanished. Oh no, he disappeared. Find were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of not infinity power, gauntlets though, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains. As the story or told, throw a moon. Also left behind was his Wait, daughter. Wait, no, that's still the infinity gauntlet. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan, the wise and mighty... The K is silent. ...whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His Why would you sharpen your tongue? Calibretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother-in-arms to Aramis, now sworn Man to Man-in-arms is, is Masters of the Universe. Again, that's a different thing. And the rogue, Red Monica. Red Monica. The T and A of the group. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. So this is all basically the backstory of the comic. Mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. Because the comic never made it past issue 9. Well, I like that there's a little backstory here. Honestly, I own all the issues of the comic, but I still haven't read them yet. Uh, I got them off of eBay about a month ago for like 25 bucks for all the issues, plus like all the variant covers. So 25 bucks for all nine issues, like including variants and the issue zero, uh, as Everyone opposed to on. paying for the the uh, graphic novel for? that or the uh, the, the paperback that contained all the what? issues, which is like out of print and a hundred bucks. It's always on me. Now I don't have to do any voices now. It's all fully voiced. These kids don't know how easy they've got it. We're being boarded. Yeah. 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 
what level is he? You break easier than I do, remember? More incoming, port side. Look out, Garrison. Gully, what? Gully. So Garrison, Gully, and Calabretto falling off the thing. Nolan it's opened like the portal. Me and, uh, uh, <sighs> figures. So Nolan's left behind on the ship, and uh, Red Monica even even jumped. Ship gone and blowed up. Well, that seems less than fun. See, so rising levels. The Beastmaster may have new ways to unlock further potential in the heroes. Neat. Some vendors will... oh well. We made it! Or at least I did. Bretto? Garrison? Please be nearby. John Boy? Spider-Man? No. Alright, this is my minor mana flask, minor healing flask. Cool. And this is my attack, apparently. Just just with the gloves, and I only have four of those left. That's weird. Alright, where am I supposed to go? I don't know. There's no jump button. It's an RPG. Just gonna run along, see what I can find. Oh, oh, that's a big crater. Debris. Can I... Nope. It says I have three of those left. Uh, is there a cooldown to get them back? What's going on? Do 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 do. Super linear. Mm -hmm. You're awake. Yes. Are you feeling better? You've been resting for a few hours. Oh, I was unconscious. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. Was I dreaming, or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? Gravity. Nolan. We fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. Well, that's convenient. Then what happened to him? We don't know. And Garrison? Monica? Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica appears to be missing, along with Nolan. Presumed dead because the ship blew up. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt. Garrison already went ahead to search for them. So Are it's just sure us two. Well enough to move. I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Then we will meet Garrison. Yay! So I can switch between the party. Oh, and it just popped up. Each party member has their own unique dungeon skills. You can swap out the active party member in order to use each's abilities to explore and interact with the world. You can open your compendium and check the skills section to see what each hero's dungeon skills do. Okay! Calabretto's revitalized dungeon skill can heal the party. Try swapping to him and heal your party of two people. That's this thing. Yeah, look at that. But now he only has five of those left. I only have three left of whatever it is that my dungeon skill is. I can't really go any further here. Let's go this way. You know, along the linear path. It's a pretty game. It, it kind of keeps the art style of the comics. I've got some common parts and, and something else. What the hell else do I have? just consumables here in in the inventory there I don't know where the other things went so that's neat oh gives you a little outline so you can see your character that's nice here's a waterfall how do I am I going through the waterfall well I guess I am drenched scout tunic well 
Next to these pile of bones is a scrawled note. O awoke in the night. I didn't realize what happened to Rachel until it was too late. The look in her eyes. It was like she'd never seen me before. She gored me real good before I could react. It was ever since finding that mana in that crack in the ground. Shouldn't have taken her so close to it. Tired. Getting dark. Itchy tasty. Mana. Or mana, depending on your pronunciation. Alright, well, can I not go up there? Am I... Which, which is the way to go? Nope. Hello? No, can't go any further. Gotta go back out the way I came in. Well, fine. Where do I go from here? Back down this way, I suppose. It's not really a... Uh, a good sense of direction in this game. Giant crumbled chip. Going up. Back this way. The way I started from. Wreckage. Debris. As she called it before. Alright. And then back to where I woke up. On the ground. By a fire. And I can't go any for But... Where do I... Alright, well thanks for joining me on this, uh... First impression. Where the hell do I go? What, what's, what the hell's going on? I, uh, nope, can't go any further. There's a rock there. What is going on? Can I go up the water? No, can't go up the waterfall. That's kind of dumb too. Am I, can I go down this way? Nope, that's not a pathway I can go. Go in the water here. But can't go further down that way, because that'd be convenient. What the? Like, can I climb this stuff? Oh, nope, I've wasted one of those. Hitting buttons trying to figure out. Oh, wait, here, triangle tells me stuff. Equipment, skills, ground smash. Uh, greatly stun all nearby enemies. Stun carries over into combat. Also breaks weak walls. Ah, charges. Two out of five. How do I get more charges? Combat abilities. Biography. Gully. Sure. Calibretto. I'm switching between things. Uh, Drench Scout Tunic. Smells a bit musty, but uh, offers fair protection. Uh, ups my defense and my magic. Uh, let me equip that. Uh, for her, because it's got her face by it. Common parts, minor mana flask, minor healing flask, and the uh, traveling garb. That's what I was wearing before. Uh, parts, things. All right, and let's uh, main objectives. No idea. Dungeon codex. That's a lot of stuff. I can fish. I don't know how, though, so we'll wait for the game to tell me. <laughs> Hooray! All of that was so helpful! Um, Alright, we're going to go back into the cave, because uh, there's literally nowhere else to go. It's very like a linear path, but like, didn't really tell you anything else? I don't know how to recharge the, uh, well, let's see. Yes. Uh, okay. Crack in the ground. So, I guess I should hit crack in the ground? What crack in the ground? Nope. No, did that do anything? I didn't do anything. What? Well, well now my mana is depleted. Can I... Nope, can't even... It's grayed out. I can't even use the mana flask. What the crap? Everything about this uh, it is is kind of lame. Where the hell am I supposed to go? This is this is a great game uh, for this first impression. Uh, because... Oh, look at this, I can go here! Oh, thank goodness. Something else to freaking do. 
Look out, things are exploding with fire. All right, God, we finally got a path. Hooray, way of wasting time. To walk across this stuff and... What's that? It looks like it'll be dangerous. Oh no, battle. I don't even have my attack stuff. Fees, more gobble. All right. Uh, actions. Jab or defend. Abilities, scatter shot, protection, items, and flee. All right, let's uh, action. Let us jab at the thingy. Florpum. Okay. Your taunt has failed. He's got a gut punch, obliterate, and a healing wave. And all right, let's let's gut punch this this stupid thing. Yeah, that's blarb. Ah, oh, now I've been poisoned. Hold L2 to get more info about buffs and debuffs in combat or in a dungeon. Slime spell deals four piercing damage each flick. <laughs> well, let's see. Items. No, you know what? I'm gonna do this scatter shot. And he's gonna do obliterate. Yay, I defeated the green slime. Hooray! Victory! I did stuff and got XP. And a tiny bit of loot. Tiny loot! Alright, cool. Well, that's a thing. I don't know how to recharge my smash, so... What's this symbol mean? Every point of will grants 10 mana. Sure. These are words that look like I should know what they mean. You can open the mini or dungeons in the overworld using R3. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is clearly the mini map. Garrison in the Northeast looking for Monica and Nolan. We should head that direction. I'm sure they're fine, but we should hurry just in case. Acknowledged. Well, fine. Oh wow, this is like, so the super linearness, I can't go off of this pathway. What is this down here? Take all loot, ha <laughs> ha! Blade leaf, veil herbs, Faintly glowing powder. Well, that's that's super. Looks like there's a slime there, and another creature there. Inspect. Warrant lettering on the top of this sign reads Talon Crossing. The plank pointing east says High Lake Village, with the message "Not anymore" carved cryptically into the wood directly over it. The rest is damage beyond readability. Well, fine. Uh, I guess it's north. Well, there's a chest this way. Let's see what we can fight this cre these creatures. Oh, they're bats! I've calculated your chances of victory. They are very slim. Haste up. All right. Well, I'm gonna obliterate you guys. Oh, I wonder if it does any wave damage. And she's going to defend herself. Well, that did half damage. Yeah, but I had defense up, so la la la. Whoa. These are ruins bats. Okay. Is the scatter shot? Okay. Oh, eight damage to a nearby enemy. That's cool. Let's see if we can hit that with a. Yay! Nearby enemy took damage. 
So the thing up in the uh, left-hand corner of the screen shows the order of everything. That's less than fair. They get they get multiple attacks. All right. Well, your health is low. Okay, let's. Uh, you know what? Let's do obliterate. And scatter shot. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna destroy that one, and the other one gets, uh, more hurt and. He's going to need a healing wave to himself. And... Cool. And then we're going to... Scattershot this dude. It doesn't take a whole lot of, uh, of mana to do stuff, thankfully. Oh, those little birdies landed on him. Isn't that adorable? Well, Calibretto. Got some common parts and some more XP. Hooray. We are victorious. Another Veil Scout's tunic. Let's see, can I... Vale Scout's tunic. That ups. Is that upping my stuff? Am I wearing. Uh, gives me a more protection. Uh, more stamina. Brings my attack power down, though. Ah, screw it. I'll equip it. Nifty. And let's go this way. To a slime. At least it's not really random battles, but it is uh, very weirdly uh, showing like where the enemies are on screen. What is Sunder? I don't. Okay. Didn't poison me this time. Goodbye, slime. Alright. Ooh, some rough wood scraps and some common parts. Still don't know what I do with those. But we have made it to a little town, and I think I found Garrison. Yay! What you did during the airship battle, shielding the cannon blast. You would have done the same for me. Maybe, but with messier results. I would have exploded! You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I... I can pick up rocks and throw them at people with them! I had no choice. Oh, that too. No. I guess not. I believe he was trying to thank you. Mm. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I haven't. And this village looks long abandoned. There are lights on the horizon. To the east. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survived, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean, if? Well, they may have been blown up. Completely obliterated. Pieces of them falling to the earth. Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica too. Except that Monica ran out and he, Nolan likely blew up. You're probably right. Let's go find them. 
Garrison has joined the party. Yay, Garrison! What is this? A handwritten journal entry is scrawled on parchment. General Zavir returned from the main front last night. Because we came in darkness, few got a good look at him, other than to say he seemed well. The wars elsewhere have taken their toll on the outpost. With ranks thinning and our defense practices becoming lax, I'm not sure Ravenheart even bothered to take his patrol last night. The lazy bastard. But then he always did seem the lazy sort. Oh, look at that. That should change with Zavir, stalking the halls once more. Car lost. Oh no, you lost your car! Alright, well I... I've obtained some lore, and now I'm traveling down this very, very linear path. Oh, loot. Okay. Let's see. North, harm's way, south, wilderness. Oh. What, what should I do? Harm or, or wilderness? I don't know. Let's go to the harm's way. Let's... That seems fun. Oh, look at town! It's called Harm's Way! No people, where are they? I don't know. Let's bang. On oh, a few doors. Well, the yellow one might be, uh... more important. Door this oddly shaped hut is locked. Strange tinkering sound can be heard within. Knock. No one answers. Stop briefly, replaced by the Kurt cur Profanities, and no one else. Have Calibretto knock, he's big. What's the meaning of this? Oh my, a bull golem! That is almost fascinating enough to warrant my time! Being fascinating is a requirement? Yes, now please stop knocking and go away! And I expect you to buff out the damage in my beautiful antique entryway. Well, fine. Be a dick! Alright, cool. And, uh, what else? There's this one. The Collector. <laughs> Browse wares. Oh, look, it's the thing to buy stuff. Booty Blade. If you have the coin, I have the wares. What does the Booty Blade do? Lucky Blade of the High Seas. Wielders claim they sometimes happen upon extra treasures in their travels. It's a gold finder. Increases gold found in combat by 20%. How much is it? Uh, I don't think I can afford it. I don't have any monies. Uh, incendiary golem plating. Yeah, I, I have literally zero dollars at the top. I'm wasting your time. Look at all this stuff! Alright, that's cool. I, I bring nothing. Right. Oh, he's got a voice this time. Some characters didn't, didn't voice. Well-made side hangs from an oiled gargoyle on the door reads out to lunch No, I'm I'm not ripping the sign down. That's that's a dick move Beastmaster Raha Fresh band of adventurers loose here in the Vale Experienced ones no less We've seen our share of battles and you Ha! I have though by the way you hold your blade not the same kind Let's just say my foe was a Wilder kind. Because he's a Beastmaster, you see, with the beasting and the mastering. Beastmaster Raha. Are you wearing that dog, or is it just hugging you? The only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind. And lucky you, this island is littered with them! So we've seen. Ha 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 ha! The slimes and bats in the woods around town? No, you're in for worse than that. We're here looking for lost friends, not hunting for trophies. Indeed, many get lost on this island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Take this bestiary journal. Track the creatures you fought. Here, make a list of all the things you've killed. You'll find doing so rewards you with insight into their strengths and weaknesses. Survive long enough and I'll point you toward more worthy tests. You may find it necessary when searching for your friends anyhow. The search will be be brief. We'll make sure of it. No, it won't. Otherwise, there isn't a game. Then we'll be gone as quickly as we arrived. I've heard that before. Don't get killed, adventurers. Be careful. Be careful. Now I have the bestiary. That's the thing I have now. All right, we're going to go to this thing, the inn and tavern. Hungry? Oh, uh, no, I can't rest. That's uh, let's chat. 
Where are we? Miss the sign on the way in? You're in the town of Harm's Way. Don't worry, the name's more bark than bite. That's a relief. What tavern is this? The Disemboweled Traveler. Oh, that's comforting. Stay, Stay a while. while. Uh, no. Well, unless I can chat again something. Stiff drinking friendly folks, that's what you'll find in here. No, thank you, Dogan. We'll, uh, we'll move Safe on. I, I feel like this may be where everybody is in Grimbeard Smithy. A heavy iron door, radiant furnace, and proliferation of metalworking. Tools strewn about tells you this must be a smith shop. Pull the massive doors open. You're the town smith. Hey. His beard is rather grim. Who the hell are you? That's a rough way to greet strangers. Uh, being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. Oh, it's a bit of Scottish food. Hey, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. And your hammer better be heavy. He has a sword, not a hammer, Thor. Speaking of forsaken land, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Seems right enough. Though not quite pirates, as you see. Bandits. Simple as that. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been a right pain in the ass recently. Yay! Hot air, airship, that's a pun. Bandits. Who do they work for? Well, be the bandit bandits. master. Themselves, mostly. But said. They're acting differently the last few years. Less scatterbrained. More organized. Organized bandits? As a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. Huh. Chat. A you know, use my sword to chat. Some trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. <coughs> You can head that way, if you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. You're back. And nearly in one piece. Alright, so... Bandit Messenger Grimbeard chased south. Right. Well, that's this way. South is down. Look, there's a... There's an exclamation point to let us know that I'm heading the right direction. Oh no, here's a creature. But I've got three people in my party now. Oh god, it's a spider! I don't, I don't like spiders. I will attack that. Overcharge is displayed in red next to your mana bar. It's generated by using regular actions. Overcharge is consumed in place of mana and is used for bonus effects and certain abilities. It goes away after a combat though, so make sure to use it while you can. Alright. Um, I'm gonna... A scatter shot. And then he's either gonna... A, a swift strike. Oh, 21 damage. And generates 15 overcharge. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. Hooray, the spider was weak. Well, Garrison's already level two. All right, Digger Silk. I guess the uh, spider was called a digger. Well, it's pointing down this way, so I'm gonna keep going this way. Another spider. So it's like random battles, but not because like Uh, attack the spider because good lord and now he's got overcharge and throw my rock and maybe it'll hit the spider too it did <laughs> yay oh god spider it's a ruined spider green slime. Let's, uh, oh wait, let's cleave Warblade. Ooh, that sounds like overkill. 34 damage, wow. Uh, 44 damage, adding 22 to damage for each overcharge used. Well, and, and it, I can use the, uh, the, the, uh, 
the 15 overcharge I have. Uh, the gut punch goes this. Yeah, the spider's gone. Oh, look at that. He didn't even use his uh, slice thing, so... I don't quite understand, like, how it has you pull up there. I unlocked more moves. Yay. Why it has you, uh, select things when they're not next in the turn scheme. Whatever. Slime icker. Yeah, slime is pretty icky. Alright. Let's move down and see if we can find the rest of the party. And then we will call this a first impression. Uh, the bat. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, a bat and a spider. Quake fist. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'm gonna do that. And nature's boon. For the next three turns, anytime an alley receives damage, they are healed for three health. That sounds that sounds decent. And then uh, no. Cleave. And a nearby enemy. Nice. Howie. Oh nice. He completely destroyed the bat. Yeah! Yay! Turn-based combat. Because I leveled up their health regen too, so that's nice. Bunch of stuff. Alright, cool. Keep going on the linear path. Linear path. Linear path. Strange campsite. Investigate the campsite. Bring flask with you. Well prepared is the best way to avoid running out of mana mid-dungeon. Oh, cool. So this campsite is going to be a dungeon. Okay. So let's see. She has a barricade in the middle of a forest. Someone is here. Yes, we should proceed with caution. Alright, let's uh, have you go ahead of us, Garrison. There's a kettle on. About 19 something. And 7 something. Looks like someone was here recently. The smell is certainly fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off? Hmm. Ambush! Damn you! What the? Headed somewhere? Ah, you lot should mind your own business. Liable to get hurt and all. We'll take our chances. Okay, so do I attack them or? You know what? No, let's let's go back to abilities. Let's do the quake fist. Nope. Let's do the scatter shot. Let's see if I can throw a rock at the ghost. I can't. I can't select it. Um, can't select the thing. You'll be dead. Oh, you're spiky. Okay, so the ghost is casting something. Yay! Yay! You were nearby, so you got hit. Holy shit! It's a hell of a... Hell of a thing. Alright, we're gonna obliterate you now. I'm gonna use Scattershot on you. And I'm gonna cleave... You! Valk the Messenger and the Armored Eviscerator. Oh wow. That, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping it would. Goodbye, Valk. 
Alright. Quake fist. Oh no! Garrison is knocked out! I wasn't watching anybody's health. Yay, we won! Oh look, Garrison's getting up now. He's not completely dead. And we got a letter opener, a bloodied letter, and salvage tank treads. Well, cool. The letter he was carrying has a seal. It must be important. Let's use the letter opener. Hard to tell. It's half smeared in blood. It does say outsiders, which must be us. Also references an outpost. The Smith and Tal may know what that means. Why do I feel like this is going to get complicated? Oh boy, fetch quests! Alright, we found the Gam Bandit messenger that was Vox. Bring the bloody letter back to Grimbeard. But first, open a treasure chest. Cyclone layered vest. Alright. Layered vest is for garrison. Brings my attack power down, but raises everything else, so I'm equipping it. I like the things that can only be equipped by other people. Uh, this goes... Cyclone goes to him. The letter opener is a sword. Uh, does not do great damage. Oh. 10% chance of hit to make the target bleed for 17 piercing damage over three turns. Cool. Uh, that's nifty. Alright, well, good. That's all good. We gotta head back to Grimbeard the Angry. Oh, wait. Yeah. That, that's good with the healing. You can access the bestiary during combat using the touchpad in order to learn more about the creatures you are fighting and formulate a strategy on how best to fight them. Well, this is uh, taking a little bit longer than I expected, but then again, it's an RPG. But uh, I think this gives us a good, decent first E impression about it. It's an RPG. It's turn-based. It's kind of fun. Uh, I enjoy the characters. It's very much reminiscent to the comic. Uh, we are going to save and quit to menu because we are done playing this. Uh, thanks for joining me, uh, and uh, stay tuned. We'll be checking out the 25th anniversary edition of Night Trap. It's an all-night game uh, a series for uh, first D impressions. Uh, this is called Battle Chasers Night War, and now after Night War is Night Trap. Fun night. Good night. See you shortly. Bye!